We're now on task four in the Getting Started with IBM Requirements Management Doors Next Quick Start. Task four is regarding modifying the affected system requirements. And in this task, y'all will navigate from the stakeholder requirement to the affected system requirement. You will then begin modifying these requirements and adding new ones. You'll also see how comments may be added to requirements, creating conversation threads that are maintained for an audit trail. To start, in the satisfied by column on the right side of the screen, click on 4092. The hummingbird shall remain airborne for at least two hours. Note that we are now in module 4015, the Avery System Requirements module. In the views panel, click view number four that talks about up and downstream satisfaction. Right here, we can see our selected requirement, 4088. We can see that this view shows both up and downstream requirements. This also has the upstream links from the two effective requirements that are suspect. Another thing to note here is that link validity is visible at both ends, which is important if different teams are working on the linked artifacts. A different team may be responsible for the system requirements and a different team would most certainly be responsible for any link test or designs. Now, let's get rid of this view. To do that, simply click on what we clicked on to begin with. That was four dot up and downstream satisfaction, and we are back to the base module view. We are going to double click inside of requirement 4092 and change two to three hours. To save this change, all we need to do is simply click away. Now, we're going to go add a comment back to the artifact that we just edited. To do that, click back on the artifact, then come up to the top right-hand corner of the screen here, where there's a line and an error, and when you click on it, it says show sidebar. Let's click that, and we can see this little menu that popped up. Click on artifacts comments to expand that option. Click on the speech bubble with the plus symbol then when you mouse over it, it says comments, then click on create comment for artifact. In the subject field, let's type in power drain. In the comment field, type increasing the range will increase the power drain, comma, something we need to consider. Again, in the comment field type, increasing the power range will increase the power drain, comma, something we need to consider. At the bottom of the window, click select users. In the users field, search the word Pete, and Pete will be available here. Then click on the arrow to the right of Pete's email to add him. Finally, click Okay. This comment is going to start a conversation thread. Users in the directed to field would automatically be notified, and we can see in the directed to field we have IBM and Pete. Conversations like these are traditionally had through email, which are often lost. But here in Doors Next, these conversations are maintained in context against the requirements for an audit trail. Comments can contain rich text and even emoticons. Another thing with comments, which we'll get into in another demonstration, is the idea of baselining, is that for different variants of your project, you have access to the comment history. So you can see why, for example, in this case, Susan and Pete need to talk about increasing the range will increase the power drain, and that's something that they need to consider. Finally, Next to the cancel button down below, click on OK to close the comment dialog. The window over on the right hand side of the screen where Susan's comment has been sent to Pete. And Pete is now able to comment directly back on this to have a conversation with Susan. And Susan can be notified when Pete responds. We're now going to add a new requirement. After requirement 4092, the hummingbird shall remain airborne for at least three hours. To do that, Select the button that is to the left of 4092 and click on it. 
that looks like the little pages menu button and we're going to come to the top and click on insert new artifact and click after. Take a look that a requirement is inserted directly into this module immediately after requirement 4092. In this field, we are going to type, the hummingbird shall notify the pilot when the remaining power reaches 50%. Again, we're going to put in here, the hummingbird shall notify the pilot when the remaining power reaches 50%. Since the default text size in doors next is font size 10. It's a little bit tiny for me to see, so we're going to select it all. We're going to go up to the top here and change it to font size 11. Then, to save this, we just need to click outside of it. Now, we can see that this requirement now has a unique ID associated with it that is 6548. This unique ID is probably different when you will do this quick start. Something to note here is that Doors Next also includes the capability to assess and improve the quality of any new or existing requirements using Watson AI. That's a little bit outside of this introductory lab, and there is a separate quick start lab available called Improving Requirements Quality with Requirements Quality Assistant if you all want to see the features of Watson AI and Doors Next. Now we're going to take a look at inserting an artifact of a different type. To do that, we're going to scroll up to 1.3, the hummingbird, click on it. Then we're going to go over to the page button that is now visible. Click on that. Go up to insert new artifact. And we're going to click on below as a child. Now this artifact is already created with the proper heading number that is going to put it below 1.3. At the top of the screen here in the word editor, we can see that it has a type of heading. We want to change the heading type to information, so click on heading and a drop down menu will be available and click on information. In this text field down below, we're going to type in the aviary flying unit UAV in parentheses is codenamed the hummingbird with a hyphen between code and name. Again, type inside of the box the aviary flying unit UAV in parentheses is code dash named the hummingbird, where a dash is a hyphen. Now, either select or double click the hummingbird text. We're going to change the color of the text to blue. To do that, come up to the A that is available on the top right hand corner of the word editor and select one of the blues. Another thing that we're going to do is select all of the text and change it to font size 11. Finally, click away to apply the changes. You've now completed the fourth task in the Getting Started with IBM Engineering Requirements Management Doors Next Quick Start.